What is a spacewalk like? Oh, man. Well, first I got to tell you that the likelihood of me doing a spacewalk was like slim to none. Uh, when I first got there, they tell you that when you're interviewing to become an astronaut to go talk to some of the other astronauts. And so I went in there. And we had this presentation about spacewalking, and it seemed like to be the, like the ultimate experience, just an incredible thing. And I wanted to do it bad. So I went, I'm talking to this one astronaut who's a pretty tall guy. Um, those of you that can't tell from the podcast, I'm 5'4", I'm okay, so I'm not like, not like a real towering individual, I'm a little vertically challenged, I guess. And I'm talking to this real tall astronaut, and I said, you know, just heard about the spacewalking. It sounds awesome. I want, I, I've been living in California. I've been doing like some rock climbing, some scuba diving. Maybe that'd make me a good candidate to do a spacewalk. And this tall astronaut looked at me like right in the eye and he laughed in my face. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, what are you, four foot what? <laughs> How rude. I know. My, my first uh, thought was, you know, I thought astronauts were supposed to be polite. And this guy, like, was not being nice. But he was, he was actually just being brutally honest. You know, it was kind of tough love. And he was like, listen, the suit is one size fits all. You're going to get in that thing, and it's going to swallow you up, and you're not going to be able to do anything. You're going to be useless. So this is impossible. Forget about it. So I was kind of pissed off, but, uh, but I wasn't going to let this guy stop me, right? So I get there. I got the job. And I go down for my first training exercise, which was in this huge pool we got in Houston. And it's like, uh, it's 100 feet wide, 200 feet long, 40 feet deep. And we could fit like most of the space station in there. And they get a crane that comes by. They put you in the suit, which weighs, you know, something like 175 pounds and stuff. With the, and, and then in addition, you, you're in it too. It picks you up and they plop you in the water and you float around. And it's kind of like being up in space. And that's how we train. So I get down there. It's my fir very first exercise, and I could tell in the first five minutes of this training exercise, that big, tall astronaut that laughed in my face was right. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. I was failing. I was. I was not doing well. I was. Uh, I was screwing up. I was like, it just wasn't going well. Why do they make a one size fits all suit? It seems they have the ability to alter the arms and the legs a little bit. And they have, um, they, it's actually three different size upper torsos. There's a, there's a medium, a large, and an extra large. But that's it. It's limited. And, and because it costs a lot of money to make mm. different sizes, so there's only the gloves they can tailor because that's actually the most important thing. But I'm, I'm getting my butt kicked, you know, and I, and I got a, a, a needs improvement, which is a NASA nice way of saying you failed, right? But I, I wasn't ready to give up. I went and... Uh, I knew I was going to need help, so I talked to um, the people that make the suit, and they did some of those things. They, like, they shortened up the arms. They fixed it up a little bit for me. And then I talked to the, the trainers, and we said, okay, yeah, we got to think outside the box here. If we give you the standard procedure, you're going to be at a disadvantage, but maybe we change your body positions instead of going straight onto the work site. Maybe we come at the work site from the side so you get more reach that way. And we started working at it, and we got better and better. And the end of the story is that uh, I got – to eventually, I got the highest possible qualification to do the most complicated spacewalks we do, and I ended up doing three different spacewalks over Whoa. the course of my career. 